the University of Virginia. Over 20,000 students call these grounds their home. But what does that mean? What is the essence of the residential experience at UVA? In fact, the quality of student life in this place is powerfully enriched and enlivened by the arts. If you have any doubt, just ask the students. I can be a little bit shy, but then when I'm on stage, it's like a completely different person. I'm so lucky to have this opportunity to work with such a high caliber of faculty members here and the students around me, they're just amazing. And so that's just great for like my artistic growth and just me learning more about myself. MICE is the Mobile Interactive Computer Ensemble. It's a computer music band. I definitely feel like we're on an upward trend with the arts, and now I feel like there's a renewed interest and excitement around the creative arts. It essentially had to be all found materials, and so we decided to use paper. And so we took the strips and folded them over and over into these triangles that were about that big. It's so comfy. Your building, at some level, has to serve a, a function. And the artistic part is to come up with a creative, new, innovative way of serving Two, that function. Three. But overall, yeah, we were, we were pretty happy with it. Hello! I, I am so happy to be here with you and to see you all. I love UVA. I loved every moment of my time here. That same weekend was a big reunion for drama alumni, and so she was back for that as well. So I was lucky enough to also meet her. I don't know, to me that was just really inspiring because it made me realize, like, you know, I can be successful in this. Where are we going? It was a piece of theater for social action, so we had a Q&A after every show and people responded so well and had a lot to say and a lot to ask. So I think a lot of people walked out of the theater with the wheels turning. So I've always been sort of hesitant to make figure paintings and paint portraits. So I decided that you don't have to just paint a portrait, you know, of your face necessarily. And it just became this interesting way to make a self-portrait. I don't know, this arm can be beautiful in its <laughs> singular state, you know? <laughs> Why not? I think I wanted to study art because it gives a voice to things that are hard to verbalize. I did chemotherapy from 2010 to 2013 for lymphoma you're able to kind of explore different facets of conscious or hopefully even your subconscious thoughts about a certain topic or an idea or a feeling, scrutinizing your own intentions in your work. And um, I think that's really exciting. You know, you read all these textbooks about, you know, who these influential people are. Philip Glass completely revolutionized classical music. But being able to see him in person and be able to ask him individual questions, there's just a totally different kind of learning that you get to experience. And it was, it was just so life-changing. And I was just wondering what you thought about this, like, kind of dichotomy. We could play that piece for hours at a time. We could, we could play for two hours on so. It's like going for a very long walk, in a way. If you go for a long walk, you want to be pretty careful about where you walk, because you're going to be looking at everything. It's the same thing with listening to music, isn't it? It's like a long walk. In addition to a rich arts curriculum and special events for students, the university presents a host of art offerings to the community including the Fralin Museum of Art, the Heritage Theater Festival, the Charlottesville Symphony at the University of Virginia, the Kluge Roo Aboriginal Art Collection, and the Virginia Film Festival. Having a strong arts program, having all of these opportunities for students, I mean, we have a huge university. And so with such a huge body of students, you need a huge arts program to sort of meet all of these, these interests and these needs. I think it's very important 
important to draw in all students to have an artistic experience on grounds, and I think that's what the Art Endowment is going to do. It's not just about giving art students the, the chance to further their art projects, that's very important. But I think that any opportunity to have something that involves the entire student body that's an artistic experience is incredibly valuable. Oh.